I thought we'd begin this conversation at the beginning. Um, so let's look at the Big Bang. Uh, now, um, those who've taken some time to um, study what physicists think might have happened 13.8 billion years ago um, have, I guess, uh, in their minds uh, an image of uh, an entire universe suddenly exploding into existence, space and time and energy rushing forth in some great um, uh, spasm or gush of, of motion and energy. Uh, and yet, uh, in your book, Conjuring the Universe, um, you take a, a very different view. Well, why not? I mean, if you can find a, a view that seems to give rise to, 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 to answering all the other questions that you're likely to, to, to come across, then an, another view might be valid. I'm not denying the Big Bang. Mm. Uh, let's be quite clear about that, because there is so much evidence in, in favour of it. But I'm very interested in what happened right at the beginning. Yeah. And uh, what I like to think about is the way that nothing rolled over into being something. Yeah. And then that something was the Big Bang. And I, I, I like to think that the rolling over was very calm. Mm. And it might not have lasted for very long, that, that calmness. But I like to think that before the Big Bang, there was absolutely nothing. So you have total uniformity. And then once something existed, in some way you had inherited that total uniformity and then explored the consequences of, of in that inheritance. So basically what you're saying is that the, the uniformity of nothing was, was carried over into the uniformity, uh, the symmetry basically, that gives rise to the conservation of energy and the conservation yes. of linear and angular momentum. Yes, I think one of my um, basic pursuits is in looking for the connection between yes. symmetry and conservation, yes. using Noether's theorem, of yes. course, which yes. simply stated, says that if you've got uniformity, then you have conservation. Yes. So if you inherit the uniformity of time on a cosmic scale, yeah. then you get the conservation of energy, which is one of the truly great principles yeah. of, of physics, and really the, the basis of causality. Yeah. So it's, it's the foundation of the whole of understanding. Yeah. Now, of course, um, uh, the idea of something coming from absolutely nothing has troubled philosophers mm. uh, down the centuries. Um, your, your principle is that, is, that, is that something is coming from something uniform. Now, of course, nothing is uniform in the sense that it's, same, it's the same in all directions. But, but could it not also be something, nevertheless, that is still very intrinsically uniform, like a uniform quantum field of some description giving rise to the universe? Well, that seems to evade the question of how nothing changes into something. Yeah. Because if you say you've already got something, which is a quantum field, yeah. then I don't think you've done... Where did that come from? Yeah, yeah. so yeah. what I'm really looking for is uh, a way of um, answering the question where did truly nothing... Yeah. absolutely nothing, turn itself into what appears to be something. And I, I think the bottom line there is that, in a way, there's still nothing here, would be my guess. Yes. But it consists of uh, opposites that yes. have been separated. Yes. Uh, and I think the simplest way of talking about that is charge. We know that we've got electric charge in the universe. Um, where did the electric charge come from? And I think if you say, well, let's see how much charge there is, then you have to add up all the positive charge, all the negative charge, and you find that they match exactly. Yeah. So in a sense, absolutely nothing turned into electrical opposites. Yeah. And I think one of the things that science does is to identify the questions that are likely to get answers. And I think looking at the universe and saying, where did something come from out of nothing, is very difficult. And it certainly stumped all philosophers. Yes. But if you say, well, how did nothing turn itself into its opposites? Yes. Then there's a glimmer of hope yes. 